everybody. My name is Dell. This is Dell on Movies. Thanks for hanging out with me. And if you've been here before, thanks for hanging out with me again. And if you're watching this video, when I put it out, it is going to be day, two days, maybe after my birthday, uh, a big 52 I'm turning. And I um, just wanted to share with you all of my, my good fortune. Uh, I'm going to start off with uh, what I got, what my daughter got from me, actually. And it's, it's not movie related, but I definitely wanted to share because I know I got some some sneakerheads out there and my daughters know that I am a big fan of Nike so I had a pair of these in burgundy but I wanted the all black pair so I went and well she went and actually got me these bad boys right here Nike's a little bit weird though just a just a minor quibble is that um they're, they're the same size as my other shoe. Uh, like I said, it's the same exact model, just different color, but these are actually bigger, even though they're the same size. It's weird. They, they still fit, fit perfectly. Life is love. Already had my first outing in them. Uh, they took me out to eat and insisted that I wear the shoes, so I, I wore these tonight and sported them in style. Next, I'm going to go with what I got for myself and this constitutes part two of my Criterion haul for the month of July, taking part in the 50% off sale. And a couple of titles here. The first one, uh, Thelma and Louise in 4K. And let's do a, a quick unboxing. Don't want to just reach behind me getting my handy dandy scissors uh, this time. And this is a movie that I actually had. I got a pretty bare, blown, bare bones Blu-ray of it. Uh, so I'm upgrading to 4K on that. And here are my scissors. Wish me luck that I don't just absolutely destroy the packaging on that. But I'm, I'm usually pretty good about that. And, yep, got it open pretty, pretty easy, no problem. So you know how I like to do it sometimes. I like to try to give you a little bit of ASMR when it's coming off. Let's see if we can get some nice crackling peeling noises got it and yep yeah, there's Thelma and Louise of course we got uh, Susan Sarandon Gina Davis and let's see what the inside of this looks like so I really hadn't watched too many unboxings of it I've seen everybody pick it up it's one of those things where I'm not always paying close close attention and yeah if you've seen if you've seen the movie you know what this is all about um, yeah, you know what that's all about if you've seen the movie. And we got a pretty big booklet here. Here's your disc. And here's the looks like a looks like a script. Or at least on the front anyway. And then we got some essays in here. How the West was won is the first uh the first essay. Um got a lot of good stuff in here, so stuff to check out one day maybe while I'm watching the movie or after I'm watching the movie depends on how I'm feeling that day you know sometimes I uh, I do other things while I watch movies and I know that's blasphemous <laughs> to some of you you know you have to be 100% committed and I get everything that I need out of the movie it's just occasionally I need something else to make sure that I stay awake and it's no fault of the movie um, I just fall asleep pretty pretty easily and I don't want to miss anything, so I'll be doing something else to get my keep my attention, uh, keep me busy while the movie is playing. The other title is one I saw when I was a, a kid. I saw it about 20 times, it must have been, and this is Time Bandits. And, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and cut this one open also. And uh, it's got the smooth lenticula. I'll, I'll look into more of that when I when I get it open here. And I, it's funny, it's one of those movies, you know, you, you see so much as a kid, and now it's, I've had, I've, I've owned the movie for, or another Bare Bones Blu-ray for a few years, but I hadn't watched it, so I technically haven't seen this movie, I probably haven't seen this movie in about 30 years, and so it's one of those things where I know I've seen it more, maybe, at least a dozen times, to be honest, but not 25 is an exaggeration, but at least a dozen times. Um, but now I don't really remember anything from it. So it's going to be like a first time watch when I do get to see it. And here it is out of the plastic. 
So I do plan on seeing it pretty soon. And this one is something that a lot of Criterions don't have. It's just a slip cover. Um, so very cool with that. And there it is all together. Out of the packaging, rather. I uh, got a disc there. And as in true Criterion fashion, fashion oh, no, we don't. I was going to say a booklet, but this is not actually a booklet. This is a map on one side. So we got a poster here. So we got a map and then a uh, some essays on the other side or an essay. So, and I do remember the map being important to the movie. So I will uh, I'll definitely check all that stuff out. But yeah, Time Band is one I hadn't seen in forever and ever and ever and ever. So I will be looking forward. I am looking forward to checking this one out again. And finally, I'm going to go show what my wife bought me. And my wife surprised me. She got me a, a little, just a tiny thing extra on top of what I actually asked for. So I'm going to show, I'm going to show the tiny thing that she got me extra first. Because when I opened up the box, you know, she ordered from Amazon and it, and it actually came in the, you know, in the Amazon box. I still have it here, though I've been, I've opened it. I know what it is. But the other thing that's in it just kind of was sitting on top of the box in the gift bag that she gave me. And, yeah, she had it in, all in this lovely gift bag right here. And this was sitting on top. I had seen this on Instagram and kind of joked, hey, man, that would be cool to have that. And she got it. And this is Eric B. and Rakim action or figures. I don't know if they're called action figures or if they're, what do you call these? But if you know me... Um, Hip hop fan for life, Arab and Rock Kim, some of the some of my early favorites, you know, right after Run DMC, of course, and LL Cool J in that era. Uh, they came out. They they came out late eighties, mid late eighties, and Eric B and Rock Kim, Rock Kim the MC, can, well his Eric B and this is Rock Kim, and Rock Kim by a lot of considered a lot of people considered the greatest rapper of all time. And this will not come out of this packaging, uh, but it will be displayed. So the God MC will be hanging out with my movie collection. And now the other thing I got is an addition to the movie collection collection. So pulling it out of the Amazon box and it was inside this box and you open up this box. And this is the thing that is going that I've been waiting on for months. Uh, I, I did not get it when it came out. A lot of you did. And I knew I had a birthday rolling around. And wife asked me what I wanted. And I told her this. And she came through Shaw Scope Volume 2. Still in the plastic. I'm going to go ahead and, and open this up for you. Because I knew I'm going to be watching movies out of this really, really quickly. Including one of my faves of all time. And this will be the companion piece, obviously, the volume one that I already have sitting on the shelf in front of my collection that you see if you watch most of my other videos. So, yeah, this is going to be a new co star. He's going to be right underneath and behind me in all the videos. Once you get all this good stuff off here, and you get this thing. This pack, this part of the packaging, which honestly, I, I think I do. I still have it. I think I threw it away in the other one. But yeah, there's that. There's the box, front and back. And let's go ahead and open this up here. Oh, weird. They put it in. Well, you have to. I guess you had to. So they put it in. I guess that would be upside down because there is the big giant book with all the discs there's some plastic stuff hanging out of here I'm not sure what's going on right there but let's find out ah this is what they did they, all the discs are in plastic and the other one the discs aren't in plastic I don't think at least not the one I got the discs are not in plastic and we start with the 36th chamber of Shaolin which is going to be the first movie I'm going to watch because I'm going to be on uh, Dave 
Dave's channel, the 4K Lowdown, and talking about this movie. So I'm definitely going to be watching that one. And then we got Return of the thir to the 36 Chambers of Shaolin, another classic, and Disciples of the 36 Chamber. So I don't know if I've seen Disciples of the 36 Chamber. So I'm looking forward to that. And Mad Monkey Kung Fu and Five Super uh, Five Super Fighters. And let's get some of that artwork. That stuff looks good. That looks great. Let's go back to 36. Was there, was there part work for 36 Chambers? There really wasn't, but there's this on this side. Yes, there was. Look at that. So, all the movies in here. I'm not going to go through all of these. Well, I mean, you know what? Let's, why not? Let's go ahead and change. Let's go ahead and just roll right through it really quick. The Kid with the Golden Arm. Classic. Magnificent Ruffians, Ten Tigers of Kuang Tung. My Young Auntie. That one I'm not familiar with. At least I don't think I am. It's one of those where I might wind up realizing that I've seen it once it starts. Boxes Omen. Mercenaries from Hong Kong. Martial Arts of Shaolin. The Barefooted Kid. And I'm beating up the mic with this, with the back cover of this. And this is right here music from those movies right there. Third Six Chambers of Shaolin, Five Super Fighters, Invincible Shaolin, and The Kid with the Golden Arm. I'm sh this, these are things that the RZA from Wu Tang made great use of. And we got more music from more of the movies back here. So yeah, Short Scope Volume Two finally in my possession gonna go up on the shelf and be put to good use um there is another box back here that goes there's another booklet rather not a box but a booklet just like in volume one you get all the essays for each of the movies you get some information so i am uh ecstatic about this ecstatic about this i'm not gonna go through the whole booklet though so yeah guys that's my birthday haul and I'm forever grateful to my family for doing this for me. They really came through and made sure that I enjoyed my day. And I will continue to enjoy my day while I go ahead and, and watch those movies. That's all I have for you on this one, guys. Uh, let me know what you think of what I got. And uh, wish me a happy birthday. You know, I can, I'm never tired of hearing that. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.